Hello everybody, the Autobot here, uh, back, just got back from watching the new Transformers movie, Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, this is going to be a short, uh, semi, semi, well, it will, it will be spoiler free. Um, just talking about a few things, because I need a few videos on my site, because I have not been making many, so... Uh, here's part one of my, hopefully only two part, but I have a feeling it's going to be a three part thing. This one is going to be very short, um, so let's get going. Number one, my first impression of the movie, I mean straight, straight off the bat, better acting. Uh, from everybody, especially the main two, because that was a problem a lot of people had. Uh, Sam was, you know, Shia played him like he plays a lot of his characters, really scared, really, oh my god, what's going on? You see a bit more of a character development with him in this movie. Uh, Michaela as well, she, they both seem to really grow a lot in this movie. Um... The parents. They played a much bigger role than I ever imagined them to play in this movie. All I'm going to say is that all I expected them to do was to drop Sam off at college. And then, you know, that one scene we saw from the trailer, I thought maybe they'd show up later. But anyways, that's enough of that. And the humor. Hilarious. It wasn't the Autobots this time. Like, a lot of stuff, oh, last time, oh, how I stepped on the grass. No, 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 There wasn't a whole lot of that, except from Skids and Mudflat. They did provide, and it's kind of funny, Vangelis was semi-right about his whole, how they happened, but whatever. Um, I'm going off on a tangent, I need to stay focused so I can get a quick video. Anyways, um, what really, really, really grabbed me was the entire complexity of the storyline. Uh, not complexity, how it was well woven together, I should say. You know, there were paths that, a lot of times, it was like, okay, why is this happening? In the last movie, it just seemed like, especially, um, it didn't have a lot of the scenes like in the last movie, where it was like, oh, now we'll go to a hacker that can randomly somehow figure out this code. No, 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 there wasn't any of that. It was straight, bare to the bones, this is how it's going to happen. Boom, it's there. Um, also, i got to say, props to Frank Welker. It, was it wasn't the sound wave we all know and love, but it was another sound wave that I believe we can know to, come to know and love. So, uh, just putting that out there. Other than that, um, I just want to say... That even if you guys did not like hold on, the first movie, go see this one. I had people sit ne next to me, who sat right next to me, and I know there were other people around there. In fact, I only know of one other person who brought this along with them. Um, at least in the movie theater I went to. So I know they were a Transformers fan, but... I believe the majority of the people worked. Yet, at the end of the movie, people got up, clapped, and cheered. And it was well deserved. It wasn't just like, oh, that was a nice movie. It was an awesome movie. Alright, that's enough for this. I'm going to upload this. And as I'm uploading, I'll be working on my next video. So you'll see me in 3, 2, 1.